Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma, and in this session, we will discuss the DAX functions, summarize and summarize columns. Summarize DAX function. This function returns a table after summarizing the data over the groups. Group of what? Group of single column or group of multiple columns. As you can see in the syntax, the first parameter is the table. There is a compulsory and we have to supply the table name. Second one is the group by column name. So on which column we want to grouping the data, then we have to mention here. And second, the same group by column name. This is optional. It means we can define the multiple column name here for, for grouping the data. Then, next the name, name of the column new column we want to generate and finally expression in the expression we have to make sure the value or return value of this expression must be the scalar value before starting the practical of the summarize dash function we check the data and we have the color color column different type of colors then sales figure then product id and product name say by car pen cycle date year sales date and finally quantity sold. So on the basis of the, this data, our requirement is, suppose we want to calculate the total sales for the offer only bike or for car then pen. So we can calculate the total sales for the di different type of product. For this purpose, we will be grouping the data for the product or we can group the shape color or we can group the date year. Suppose we want to calculate the total sales for the each and every year. So you can see year 2010 and this is repeated. The same, the product is repeated. So we can create the grouping for the different type of columns, say product, year or say color, any column. Then we can calculate sales, average, sum by grouping the data. Now we check the summarize text function with the practical. So already we have uploaded the data and we have the product name. Suppose on the basis of the product, we want to calculate the total sales. Say what is the total sales for the bike? Because bike is repeated. Again, the car is repeated. So we want the summary. So for this kind of summary, we have to create a group. Then we can use the summarize text function. Say new table because the summarize function returns the table then summary table and summarize then first parameter product second the name of the column for the grouping say product name and the name of the column is to be created so total sales and finally expression so some sales so as you can see the result the total sales for the bike 500 total bikes car total cars 1000 total pens 300 so these are the unique and these are the group of the product and these are the total sales for each and every group suppose you need to count the item in the group how many bikes how many car then simply you can use the count function here count Okay. Also, you can define the multiple column. So along with the product name, also you can use the color. Say again sum and product color. Now we check. So we have the different group group of bike azure and bike gold these are the two group because the combination of the 
product name and the color is making the group. So we have the different type of groups and with their sales figure. Up suppose sometimes we need to calculate the total of this subgroup. Say what is the like total of this bike and what is the total of car. So for that purpose you can use the roll up function. Roll up Now we can check the bike 100 and the bike 400 that is the 500 and the below of the data that you can check the bike 500. Now car 200, 500 and 300 it is the 1000. So these are the subtotal of these group. So for that purpose you can use the roll up form. Now we check the summarize columns. Summarize column is very similar to the summarize but there is a major difference between the two. In summarize columns we can use the filter table as you can see the second parameter. Now we check the practical of the summarize columns. So new table summarize columns now. So in the summarize column the first parameter is the name of the column for grouping say product name and second product color so we are taking the two column for the grouping and then filter say filter product and product color then say red then name of column total sales and finally expression So in this summarize columns we have applied a filter. Okay, now we check this one. So you can see in the data product name plain and the color is the red, then this is the total sales. So this is the major difference between the summarize and summarize column. You can apply a filter in the summarize columns. So guys, this was all about the summarize and summarize columns DAX function. Thanks for watching the video.